Hello my dear students how are you hope all of you are doing well and maintaining good health i am dr smriti rekha and i welcome you all to e tuition education for better tomorrow it's a digital learning platform for odia and english medium students if you believe in quality education then you are in the right platform as in e tuition we provide quality education which will definitely help you to build your career then what are you waiting for please download the e tuition app and enroll yourselves so that you can avail all the facilities at your fingertips so children are you all ready for today's class so as you can see today we are going to start with a new chapter that is chapter 4 of your ncert book that is quadratic equations are you all happy for that okay so let us start today's class so before going to the concept of quadratic equation let us understand it with an example so suppose i am going to purchase a carpet okay do you like the design of this carpet it's nice right okay so i am going to purchase the carpet having area equal to 36 square feet okay so length of the carpet is 1 feet more than twice the breadth okay so what is the relationship between length and breadth of the carpet length is 1 feet more than twice the breadth of the carpet now what i will do is i will ask my son please tell me what is the length of the carpet and what is the breadth of the carpet if its carpet area is 36 square feet and the relationship between length and breadth is length is 1 feet more than twice the breadth so how he is going to approach for it so as usual if you remember while forming the linear equation how we were uh, obtaining the algebraic expression for a particular problem so likewise let us write down the algebraic expression for this problem also okay so let us start so you have the length of the carpet is 1 feet suppose in this carpet uh, which you can see here uh so this will be your length okay and this is your breadth correct this is your breadth so length i will denote is a l and breadth as b now what is the relationship if the breadth of the carpet will be x then length will be 1 feet more than twice the breadth so that means length will be 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 so taking length as 2x plus 1 and breadth as x what will be the area of the carpet so area of the carpet will be length into breadth right that is length into breadth so what is length here so length in terms of your x is 2x plus 1 into x correct or not so it is 2x plus 1 into x okay so i'll just uh, open up this bracket and you will get 2x square plus x and according to the question the value of the area of the carpet is 36 correct or not so now if i will take this constant to the left hand side it will become 2x square plus x minus 36 is equal to 0 so can you observe the form of equation now it is in the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 which is nothing but the standard form of quadratic equation correct so now after obtaining this expression you can 
सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन बाय फर्टिलाइजेशन मेथड और एनी अदर मेथड करेक्ट और नॉट सो नाउ यू माइट हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू फॉर्म वन अल्जेब्राइक एक्सप्रेशन एंड देन कन्वर्टिंग इट इनटू इक्वेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सिचुएशन एंड देन वी कैन चेक whether it is satisfying the condition for quadratic equation or not so likewise always i am telling you go for the real life situation and correlate your mathematics as you can find out mathematics every fair correct so now with this we will start the concept of quadratic equation what is quadratic equation any equation of the form px is equal to 0 where px is a polynomial of degree 2 is a quadratic equation as i was telling you the standard form of your quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are the real numbers and a is not equal to 0 if a will be becoming 0 then coefficient of x square becoming 0 then what will happen to your ax square term that is going to be 0 then the equation is going to be converted into linear equation in one variable correct or not so always remember a cannot be equal to 0 a is the coefficient of x square it is called the quadratic coefficient because it is the value of a which is the deciding factor whether the equation is quadratic equation or any other form of equation because it is the coefficient of x square what about b b is the coefficient of x it is called linear coefficient because it is the coefficient of variable x with degree 1 c is a constant term so these are some of the example of quadratic equation which is nothing but in form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so i have taken two examples you can write infinite number of examples right so it is 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 4x minus 3x square plus 2 is equal to 0. If you want, to, if if you think it is not in standard form, you please write down in this form minus 3x square plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now it is similar to this, right? Okay. So uh, this is the concept, the definition of quadratic equation. Now let us solve some examples. represent the following situations mathematically john and jibanti together have 45 marbles both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124 we would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with so how to do do this now so now let let the number of marbles john hatch b x right then number of marbles jivanti has is equal to how much 45 minus 6 because it is clearly written the sum of the marble is 45 if one is x what about the other it is 45 minus x correct or not now let us go to the next statement both of them lost five marbles so by losing five by losing five marbles john and jivanti will have will have x minus 
and 45 minus x minus 5 number of marbles. Correct. So now, what is the next statement? If after losing 5 marbles, if you consider the marbles, then the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124. So now, how much marbles they have? x minus 5 and 45 minus x minus 5 which is nothing but equal to 40 minus x. Now according to this statement the product that is x minus 5 into 40 minus x is equal to how much? 124. Correct. Now let us open up the bracket and see whether it is in standard form or not. So, x into 40, 40x, 40 minus 5 into 40, 200, x into minus x, minus x square, minus 5 into minus x, plus 5x is equal to 124. Correct or not? So, it implies you have x square plus x square plus if you take this 200 this side it is 200 plus 124 minus 40x minus 5x is equal to 0 okay so your equation will be x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0 now this is in the standard form of your quadratic equation. Correct or not? So we need not solve the problem because uh, in this example we have to represent the following situation mathematically. So we have obtained our quadratic equation. Correct children? So now let us go to another example. Uh, Cottage industry produces certain number of toys in a day. The cost of production of each toy was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day. On a particular day, the total cost of production was rupees 70. We would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day. So, let us read out the statement carefully. So, here the number of toys in a day is let the number of toys be x. Okay. The cost of production of each toy was found to be 55 minus the number. So, cost will be Cost of toys will be according to this statement. What? X minus 55. Correct or not? Right. On a particular day, the total cost of production was 750. So that means the toy cost is X minus 55. Okay. So what will be the total cost then? It is X into X minus 55. And the value is given to be 750. Correct or not? So just opening the bracket, you will get x square minus 55x minus 750 is equal to 0. Which is in the standard form of quadratic equation that is x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Correct? So now you have represented in form of quadratic equation. Correct children? Now let us go to another example. Check whether the following are quadratic equation. Okay. So how we are going to do it? So you have x minus 2 square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So uh, this I can write down. What is a minus b whole square? It is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Right. So I will just do the same. x square minus 2 into a is x and uh, then b is 2 
right plus your 2 square okay plus 1 so i have used a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square right so that is equal to 2x minus 3 okay so you will get x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 so now let us bring it to the uh, simpler form so minus 4x plus 5 now let us take this 2x to the other side that becomes minus 2x minus 3 will come to this side this become plus 3 is equal to 0 it implies x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0 x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0 so this is in standard form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 correct or not it matches right so it is hence it is hence it is quadratic equation hence it is quadratic equation as it can be expressed in form of ax square plus bx plus c correct so now let us go to another problem so the question is x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2 so let us open up the bracket now x square plus x plus 8 is equal to what is x plus 2 into x minus 2 it is x square minus 4 now this x square and x square is going to be cancelled out and you will get x plus 8 this plus minus 4 will go to the other side and you will get x plus 12 is equal to 0 oh my god the x square term is not there at all so is it satisfying x square plus bx plus c Arch, the equation is not in form of x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so it is not a quadratic equation correct it is not quadratic equation now let us go to the next example so what is the question here your question is x into 2x plus 3 is equal to x square plus 1 so let us open up the bracket now it is 2x square plus 3x is equal to x square plus 1 now let us uh, take all the variables to the other side you will get x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 so now it is in the form of x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 correct or not hence as it is in the form of x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 hence it is a quadratic equation hence it is a quadratic equation now let us go to one more example okay so now here you have x plus 2 whole cube is equal to x cube minus 4 what is the formula for a plus b whole cube it is a cube plus 3ab square plus 3x a square b plus b cube correct or not so let us put the same here so you will have x cube plus 3x into 4 3ab square plus 3a square b that is 3 a square is x square into 2 plus 2 cube b cube that is equal to x cube minus 4 okay so it implies you have x cube plus 12x plus 6x square plus 8 is equal to x cube minus 4 now this x cube and x cube is going to be cancelled out and you will get 6x square plus 12x plus 4 is equal to 0. So which is in the form of 
ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, it is in standard form. So, the equation given is a quadratic equation is a quadratic equation. Correct children? So, with this we come to an end of the concept, the definition and the introduction to quadratic equation. Hope you have understood. Thank you children for your patient hearing. Do follow us in YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. Do follow our channel, subscribe it and download the e-tuition app to enroll yourself. Okay children, bye, take care.